So this is our, our good friend, Dan. He's been a customer of ours for over 10 years. He owns the Market and Flex Aligner buses. He owns three of these. This is the new bus that he got last year. This is his first trip on it. He typically, since we're in Tennessee now, he stops in twice a year. He spends half the year down in Florida or running around uh, in the warm weather. He lives in Michigan, so he stops in on his way from and to Michigan each year. So this stop, we got a couple things. He's got some electrical gremlins for us to work on. Um, turn signals aren't working right. Jake brakes are, aren't working right. Uh, cruise control is not working. Um, and then the suspension height, it, it's, it's not, it's saggy in the back and most, uh, even more saggy on the left rear. So we're going to take a look at that and see if we can make some adjustments on the suspension. Okay. So we went to adjust these torsion. So the suspension on this is called the torsion elastic or flex elastic, depending on how it's in the book. Um, but the rubber springs are coming out there. It's a big twisted spring. And we can adjust the height of the body the way it sits on the axle by adjusting these and we can run these screws up here. It pulls this down and it raises the bus up. Unfortunately, it's about an inch and a half lower on this side um, and about an inch, or, sorry, inch and a quarter on this side and an inch and a half on the other side lower. This spring has adjustment in it. We still can bring this down a little bit more. There's more threads up in here. Uh, we can get about an inch of lift over here on this still, which we were just getting ready to do. But the other side is even lower, and I'll go show you why we can't on that side. Okay, here on this side, you can see how far down this is inside there already. It's not even sticking up at all, and there's no bolt thread adjustment left on it. This side is already maxed out, and this is the lowest corner of the bus. So we have no adjustment left. Uh, on there. <laughs> compared to the other side. So this is the lowest corner. All we're, if we raise the other side, all we're gonna do is make this side worse, more saggy. Um, we have located the new Torch Elastics that we can order. Um, what was that guy's name, Dan, do you remember? Mario. Uh, Gallardo? Gallardo, maybe? Yeah. I think Mar Mario, uh, out of California. Uh, yeah, his name is Mario. Well, we found him and he's gonna get these ordered for Dan and the next time he comes in, we'll go ahead and replace these springs. So, and we'll replace the shackles, uh, all the components that are on there will get replaced. So they'll have the new torsion springs on there. So then the bus will ride higher. Uh, you can adjust the ride height per those. So there's no airbags or no leaf springs or anything. It's a big, basically wound up rubber band basically is what it is that holds the bus up. Yep. Mario Gallardo. Mario Gallardo, that's his name. We replaced these belts on here. These are B94. That's not the original one because this engine's been changed. So we had to kind of figure out. We tried a B93. We could not get it to go on, uh, which is one inch shorter. And in a B94, we're maxed out on the tensioner, which is more tension than the old ones had. But the old one, we could just sit here and just spin this fan by hand. Um, it would just spin on there. So it definitely uh, was worn. It was extremely cracked. The belt. So we got new new belts on there. Should be good to go. Uh, we gave them a spare alternator belt. We've changed the oil. We cleaned up the grounds on here. We added a ground to this door. We're having some electrical problems, um, and we think it's ground related. So by taking off the the main ground and cleaning everything on there, and we sprayed some dielectric type cleaner inside some connections on his cruise control. His jakes have been working intermittently, his turn signals have been working intermittently, and his cruise control recently quit. So um, the jakes worked, we fixed him when you were here last time, and then he, the day he or day after he left, they quit working, and then they magically started working again. And then his turn signals will work sometimes and sometimes not work at all. So we're working on the ground, possibly being a ground issue on it. Um, that's the worst thing about electrical gremlins when they come and go like that. Since we've got the wheels off here, Tyler's going ahead and doing a good job on everything. We adjusted the brakes. Okay. Something that's really cool here is we have this 1969 flexible bus, and we also have a 1969 right next to it uh, MCI bus. So two 1969 buses side by side that are both very clean and shiny. Roadworthy, mostly roadworthy. <laughs> we're, we're getting there on that one. <laughs> Put a new uh, desiccant filter on the air dryer on here. Got that from our buddy's car quest.
now back up, right? Just a little bit. I need to go move the dually. Steps out. Irregularly, and the lights aren't blinking for left turn signals.
now they're blinking. <laughs> That's gotta be something with the relay. two-prong flasher from CarQuest and uh, it seems to be working. We're leaving it on, make sure it doesn't overheat or anything. This does have four lights on it, but two of them are LEDs. So I don't think it's very much power going through there. All right, well, we had some crazy storms to come through again. Dan, Dan made it home to Michigan safely, reported back. His turn signals worked perfectly the whole way. His Jake brakes worked perfectly the whole way. The cruise control still does not work right. Uh, we did open it up and check it and make sure it's a King Cruise. Uh, it has power. It has a good ground to it, um, but the cruise isn't working. So I'm not real familiar with exactly how that system works. Um, so we'll need to tear into it a little bit more or plan on that in the future. But it, it had, had been working up until this partway through his last trip here. So... Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get into that next time when we replace those springs. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. At the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Buses come to run. Bus Grease Mountain. We're gonna get that big job done. 